So in this video, we will be replacing the battery on this HP laptop. If you've been experiencing problems with your Roland machine, uh, it's not lasting on charge, it's switching itself off, but it's still working on mains power, then that might indicate that the battery is at fault and it may need a replacement, especially if it's a few years old. The model number on this laptop is 14 Bravo Foxtrot 008 November Alpha. It's a little bit different to some other laptops where the battery just clips out or can be easily accessed. This one in particular, uh, if we switch it over, as you can see from the back, it's not just a clip out affair. You were going to have to take that back off to be able to replace the battery. So the first thing I did was to remove the three screws shown here. But what did confuse me is the fact that on the other side, there are no screws to take out. So I wasn't quite sure what was holding everything together. And after doing a bit of research, it turns out that the screws that are holding everything together are underneath the rubber feet at the bottom. So those will need to be removed. So at this point, it's worth showing you the battery that was purchased as the replacement. I uh, purchased this from eBay and it's actually a third party battery. It's not a branded battery like the one we've taken out, which was made by HP. Hopefully we'll just slot into the place where the other one's going to come out. And it actually came with a little screwdriver and it actually came with like a, a little plastic prising tool as well, which is going to come in handy for the next step. So using some sort of prising tool, if you have one or some sort of plastic um, thin knife or something similar what we're going to do is we're going to start to prise away the casing from the main chassis normally start at a corner um, and create a bit of leverage underneath and then we'll be slowly working round the casing and as you prise each area individually you should hear like some of the clips at the back kind of uh, click off from the main chassis and then you're going to be doing that slowly but surely all the way around and then that casing should eventually just pop off quite easily. It was quite surprising actually how much dust and dirt there was in there taking into consideration that these things are sealed. So what we're going to do is we're going to give that a bit of a clean with some compressed air which will clean it all out without having to touch it. So the screwdriver in the battery box wasn't any good so I'm using my own little toolkit. This was purchased on eBay for about six or seven pounds. Got loads and loads of different attachments in there, 135 different attachments. Probably one of the best things I've ever purchased. So if you'd like the link to that, there's the link to that. It's not an affiliate link or anything like that. It's just a great little thing that I found. So let's start to unscrew all these screws that are holding this battery in place and get that removed. And I will say this, please look after the screws because in this process I actually lost four screws. I don't know how, I don't know where they've gone, I had to replace them somehow, but please keep everything nice and secure and be better organised than I am. And then it's just a case of removing the old battery from the unit. It will be connected in somehow. Uh, in this instance, there's a series of male connections that slide in to the female connection at the top. So that with a bit of jiggling, that will come out. So looking at the battery visually, it doesn't look swollen or bad in any way, but it has died. So let's swap that out. So in terms of installing the battery, it's just as simple as doing the reverse. You're going to put the little fins in at the top, press down firmly, and then we'll screw things back together. And then it's just put the casing back on, um, similar sort of thing. Make sure it's all clipped in together first and then simply replace the screws where they originally came from. And it's as simple as that really. Um, you want to give it a test. Um, in this example, I didn't put any power into the laptop. Just press the power button and it came on, which tells me that the battery is good. It must have had a little bit of charge already in it. Then all you need to do is to give it a good old charge, leave it a good few hours 
uh, and make sure that you condition the battery and you start as you need to go on.